This is One Sentence News, a daily podcast featuring three news stories with a sentence-long summary and one sentence of context apiece. I'm Colin Wright. This is a sponsored message. I've been using Anchor as my podcast host for a while now, and it's been a pleasure to use. Anchor offers benefits that most other hosts do not. It's free to use, but it also has a collection of tools that allow you to create a podcast completely within the Anchor website or smartphone app. They distribute your show to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other distribution channels without any additional effort on your part, and you can make money from your podcast without any minimum audience size. So you can use it as a more traditional podcast host like I do, but it's also got everything you need to start a podcast from scratch. If you're keen to give it a shot, download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. It's Wednesday, August 17th, 2022. Let's talk about the news. From BBC News, right to free period products becomes law in Scotland. Scotland has become the first country in the world to pass a law requiring that period products be made available free in public settings for those who need them. This legislation is the result of years of work, and efforts have already been made to increase access to period products in public settings throughout the country, with about £27 million invested toward that end since 2017. This new law is meant to help tackle period poverty, which is poverty sparked or amplified by the practical requirement that about half the population spend a decent chunk of their income on products like tampons and period pads, products that some people can't afford on a regular basis, and which can therefore put them at a significant social and economic disadvantage. The Scottish Parliament unanimously backed this effort in 2020, and it finally came into force last Monday. From Reuters, China unexpectedly cuts two key rates and withdraws cash from banking system. China's central bank has cut key interest rates for the second time in 2022, while also pulling money from its banking system. Twin efforts meant to boost credit demand, which in turn is meant to help goose their flagging economy. This is the opposite approach compared to what many other governments are doing at the moment, as it's meant to increase economic activity rather than decreasing it to tamp down inflation. China is attempting to kick things back into gear following several low economic quarters and not good economic indicators that would seem to be the consequence of COVID-related lockdowns, all of which has international markets on high alert since China is so fundamental to the global economy. And the degree to which China seems to be struggling to keep things economically balanced has surprised some analysts who thought China would be doing better at this stage of the pandemic. And from the New York Times, UK approves COVID booster vaccine that targets two variants. UK regulators have approved a new COVID vaccine made by Moderna, which has been shown to generate a strong immune response against both the original vanilla COVID and the fast-spreading Omicron variant in those who receive it. It's expected that at some point most of our COVID vaccines will be replaced by better targeted formulations, and this one made by Moderna is the first targeted version to make it through the regulatory gauntlet of a major government which suggests we may soon see more of the same, each targeting whichever COVID variant or subvariant is most widespread in a given region and distributed on a semi-regular basis, perhaps annually, perhaps more frequently, if a big outbreak warrants it. This jab is considered to be especially important right now because of the decrease in enforced pandemic-era rules and the parallel rise in the BA4 and BA5 subvariants both of which are versions of Omicron that spread a lot more readily than previous iterations of COVID. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com. And you can support this and other related projects like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts at understandery.com.